you are going to be shocked when you hear how much the average Crumble Cookies franchise makes. Now, Crumble Cookies has become one of the most controversial franchise and cookie brands with most people having either a love or hate relationship with the brand. Now, outside of the fact that one cookie is about five bucks, 700 calories on average, and gigantic, they've developed a cult-like following with sometimes a line of customers extending down the street. Now there's been major drama in the hashtag Utah cookie wars with Crumble suing some of their competitors for stealing their recipes and their intellectual property. They're currently awaiting a decision by a federal judge in one of their lawsuits. Now, despite all of this controversy, Crumble Cookies is a franchise opportunity and investment is on absolute fire. So my name is Tark Johnson, and this is another episode of Franchise Friday where we break down some of the most popular franchises. Now we dig deep to figure out the truth about these franchises. How much do they make? How much do they cost? And the no BS about whether or not you should consider buying one. So today we're peeling back the curtains on Crumble Cookies, and let me tell you, this is a good one. The financials are pretty shocking. But I'm also going to reveal the truth behind their 111% growth over the last year. Now, before we get started, go ahead and tap that like button for me. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe as we post videos twice a week to talk about all things franchising, entrepreneurship, financial freedom. You don't want to miss a thing. So in 2022, the average Crumble Cookies made $1.8 million in revenue with an average profit of $298,000. The lowest performing store did $589,000 in revenue with a loss of $160,000. And the top performing location did over $4 million in revenue with just over $1.1 million in profit, which is insane. So let's compare that to their direct competitor, Dirty Dough. In 2021, the flagship Dirty Dough location had a whopping $461,000 in sales. And now in their latest disclosure document, they don't share any financial information about how much the average store makes, which in my experience usually isn't a good sign. <laughs> now with the average crumble cookie doing $1.8 million in sales, how much does it cost to open one of these bad boys? Now, there's a pretty large range for the cost to open a crumble cookies. You can get open for as low as $367,000, but startup costs can also range as high as $1.4 million to open. This is compared to their competitor, Dirty Dough, which costs between $342,000 to $519,000 to open. Now, it may be more cost effective to open a Dirty Dough, but the revenue and profits of Crumble Cookies seem to dwarf Dirty Dough in comparison. Before you go rushing trying to buy a Crumble Cookies, even though you can't, but at the end of this video, I'm going to share my red flags that I think you need to know about before thinking about if maybe one day you want to try to pick up one of these resale Crumble Cookies. So here's where things start to get really interesting. At the start of 2022, Crumble Cookies had 325 locations. But by the end of 2022, they had 688 locations open. That is 111% growth in one year. It's insane. But think about this for a second. They opened 363 locations in one year. It's a feat that would be nearly impossible to do as corporate stores, and it just shows the power of using the franchise model where you have individually and locally owned stores. There could be many reasons for their explosive growth, but I believe the biggest reason is due to their marketing, their unique business model, their cult-like following, and the fact that their average store financial performances crushes any of their competitors. Now, every week, Crumble offers brand new flavors that are only available for that week. Now, from a sales perspective, this does two things. First, it creates a sense of urgency because customers feel compelled to try the new flavors before they're gone forever. Second is that constantly switching out the flavors of the cookies make customers want to come back time and time again, all because there are always new flavors to try. Plus, this makes their social media marketing pretty easy. Now each week they release a promo video for the flavors ahead, which creates tons of hype and buzz around the new flavors, flooding their locations and customers dying to try the new flavors. Just look at the amount of followers that they have on YouTube and Instagram. It's pretty insane. 
So, but why wouldn't people want to own this franchise? What's the catch? Well, at first glance, Crumble Cookies may seem like a home run, but there are still a few things to think about. For starters, a lot of people believe that this is just another fad, like similar to frozen yogurt places. Remember Pinkberry? They were known as the best of the best in the Froyo world when it was the craze. But from 2014 to 2018, they closed 74 of the locations. Yes, you heard me right. They closed 74 locations. Crumble Cookies, as of August 2023, now has over 800 stores. So do you think they will suffer the same fate as the Foreal World did? Let me know in the comments below. Also, speaking from personal experience, running a business in the food and beverage industry is no easy task. You are open more than 360 days per year, with most businesses being open for 12 to 16 hours, if not longer, and the industry has some of the highest employee turnover. Now, Crumble has become like the Chick-fil-A of cookies. They are also closed on Sundays, which has contributed to even more demand. Do you know what it's like on a Sunday, like craving Chick-fil-A, and you're like, darn it, it's Sunday. It makes you want it even more. Chick-fil-A also has something in common, which is they have the highest average unit financial performance amongst its competitors. Now, on the flip side, there are a few really promising aspects of Crumble Cookies. Again, like the incredibly unique business model and the fact that they crush it on social media. They have a cult-like following and they generate more per location than any of their competitors. And like I said, they're becoming the Chick-fil-A of their category. A next logical thought for you is, hmm, should I own a franchise? How does it all work? And, and what are the pros and cons? Well, I made a video here explaining how franchising works, explaining it using the example of McDonald's, or you can watch this video on whether you should buy a franchise and the pros and cons. If you need more help deciding on if you should buy a franchise, what kind of franchise to buy, or vetting a certain franchise, then click the link in the description below to claim a free copy of my franchise starter kit. Inside, you'll get my free ebook on how to go from zero to profitable franchise in 12 months or less. Plus, you'll get instant access to my free masterclass revealing the four pillars of a successful franchise. Make sure you subscribe before you go, and I'll see you on the next one.